my name is Justin from Subboy Media and today I've got a pretty interesting little tutorial for you that will really help you out. Uh, chances are if you're looking this up you're probably not using the computer that you're going to be doing this fix on but that's okay. So just a little backstory. I work fixing computers, that's what I do uh, in cell phones. And um, we get a lot of people coming in recently with this issue where they'll turn on their computer one day, they'll unlock it or whatever and uh, it'll say that you know they're connected to a wireless network but there's no internet access and when they go down here and open up their list of networks it'll, it'll show them so you know their adapter works but uh, it'll try to connect and it'll either fail to connect or tell you have no internet access you run through the diagnostics it'll tell you a bunch of stuff but it just won't fix it and you know your things aren't broken or anything but you're just kind of ugh. So um, I'm going to show you an easy fix on how to fix this. Um, this has worked 10 out of 10 times on customer computers when we've done it. So uh, let's dive right in. So first you're going to want to go down to your search bar right there. Type CMD and you'll see the command prompt pop up. You're going to want to right click it, do run as administrator. Yes. And uh, once you're here, you just have to type in one simple command. Doesn't take very long. Uh, it's going to be net sh space int space ip space reset just like that I have it right there I'll also put in the description you know I just want to make sure you get this done you're going to want to hit enter and uh, you're going to see it saying resetting on all these things now don't be shocked when it says resetting failed and access is denied because right below it it says resetting okay restart the computer to complete this action now of course you're going to do what it says you're going to restart your computer and you should be able to get back up on the internet. It should either automatically connect you or you might have to go in and manually connect it. Or if it's wired, it should just pop right up like my computer does. And uh, you'll be all set to go. See, it's a very simple fix, very easy. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I really hope it helped you out. I really hope it fixed a lot of people's uh, issues. Um, if you have any suggestions on something that you'd like to see me do a video on, leave a comment down below or hit us up on our social media or on our website uh, www.subvoidmedia.webs.com anyways my name is Justin from Subvoid Media if you like the video don't forget to leave a like comment subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video later